Okay, I can't stomp her that quickly. Okay, we, so I guess we just tap her. <laughs> Get her chat. <laughs> Bye, Chad. Scarlet's Veil. I'll look at that in a minute. So just, her face is all like burned. So whatever that explosion was just blasted her in the face and broke Bram's leg. Jory! Oh, Jory, I thought you were... I thought... <laughs> Ash, love. I'm okay. Rox works in battlefield magic on me. It's okay, honey. I'm going to be okay. Guess it's a good thing you stayed behind, huh? Definitely. What is... Thing, Look at her! Definitely a good thing. All right, hero. That's enough cuddling for now. You better report this to Magnus. She's pooping. That everyone on the ground could use some good news. Huh? What the? Oh my God! That smile. That's some Harley Quinn stuff. Oh shoot! It's too quiet. Freaking cutscenes. Do they always have this problem? Guma jungle. Wakey, wakey. Oh my god. I knew what was gonna happen, but seeing it as something else. Yuck spit. We need to retreat. It's Morden time. Yo, he's gonna mord all over those down. guys. Hurry! They gave Bram a limp. Escape the unstable breach maker. Can, can one of y'all cast swiftness? <laughs> I could swap specs to support Scrapper and give them super speed, but I don't know if there's going to be more fights. You know what? Hang on. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's not working. Oh shoot. Okay, I guess I can't give them super speed. All right, back to me back to mechanist. Uh, okay, cool. Rare and valuable. Scarlet's end. Complete the story chapter Scarlet's end. Anything else here? Is there any other secrets? Is there any other secrets here? Let me just stay on this, you know, enemy ship that's freaking getting destroyed. You okay? Need a soda? Let's see, marionette control panel. This set of controls looks specifically tailored to the marionette weapon. It may be that Scarlet controlled the weapon test from this very location. Examine the drill blueprints lying nearby. The drill is designed to cut through the ground at the bottom of the bay, but something is odd. Look closer. There is no pump or other method for channeling energy anywhere. It's as if Scarlet only wanted to drive the drill into the ley lines. Consider what it could mean. It seems Scarlet wanted to disrupt the flow of magic. That is what captured the attention of the dragon we heard. Her goal all along was the dragon. Wait, we heard the dragon? Drill and ley line diagram. A display shows a set of pulsing lines all converging on the spot directly below the drill. According to the way it's set up, it's the probe sending the image. This must be the convergence of ley lines. Some are narrow, but one is quite wide. This crossroads of magical energy must be Scarlet's target. 
Consider what it could mean. Anyone who managed to tap this energy and channel the magic into a repository would have a great deal of power at their disposal. Energy probe map. This map of Tyria has the locations of all of Scarlet's probes plotted on it. Look for a way to shut down the drill. Magic fuels this device, and there doesn't appear to be any way to shut it down. Look closer. Scarlet designed it to keep running on purpose. She didn't want it to stop even if she was captured or killed. Leave. Okay. Well, there was some, there was some stuff in here. All right. Okay. Did you find the diving goggles? No, I did not find diving goggles. Um, read the letter. Wait, am I back in the battle for Lion's Arch? I am. Uh, hold on. I I f actually feel bad about this because I'm taking up a slot. Let me go. Let me let me exit this. I'm taking up a slot from somebody else's. Okay, uh, read the letter. Casimir, please join us at the Dead End Bar in Divinity's Reach for a celebration of our victory over Scarlet. We'd really love it if you could attend. Rox and Bram have already set in an RSVP in the form of a bottle of char whiskey and a keg of Norm beer. You don't have to bring anything but your smile, though you'll probably want to wear a bit more than that. <laughs> Imagine just walking in butt naked. But Cass said... You're under arrest. Oh my. Man, I didn't expect this to be so lengthy, chat. This is awesome. Like, I, I, this one thing, just the store, the new story has been most of the stream. It's pretty rad. Coming rich from the lady who illusions are on clothes. Yeah, that's actual lore. If any of you didn't know that, Casimir actually just walks around naked and uses Mesmer magic. Me Mesmer magic. Mesmer. Casmer the Mesmer. Uh, she uses Mesmer magic to make clothes illusions on her. She just walks around naked. That's We're actual canon. Demise. It's good you could make it. <clears throat> Can you relax, Bram? Sit down. If you keep standing on that leg, better ease up on that leg, B, or it won't heal right. It doesn't hurt anymore. Is that why you make that bear noise every time you sit down? That's just the spirit moving in me. <laughs> <laughs> A toast to the hero of the hour and all. Woo! Yay! Oh, oh, yeah. oh gosh, he's jabbers. So, uh. tell me, how did it feel to stomp the evil snot out of Scarlet? Regale the group with the story of your finishing strike. Well, first I ran in, and then I got knocked back. Then I tried running in, but I got knocked back. Then I tried using rifle five to fly in, and then that's when I got knocked back. <laughs> that, that, this is basically the story. How did it feel when you finished Scarlet for good? But don't make me laugh, my ribs are still sore. Not as sweet as a kiss, wink. Wait, what? So Casimir's right there. Yo! My guy is a miscreant in season one. What the heck? <clears throat> like pulling a dandelion and getting the whole root. <laughs> oh no, you did not just. <laughs> Hi, what's so funny? Hey, who let the rabbit out of its cage? That's not funny. <laughs> We're celebrating our victory over Scarlet. Would you like some juice? I suppose we should sell Would you like some juice? As we all stand here awkwardly with our working legs. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Come on, kid. What are you talking about? Oh my god, she's shorter than the bench. You know, don't you? Scarlet wasn't just fooling around. You know something? Yes, I am the Snap Savant. Don't hold anything back, we're all ears. You know Scarlet better than any of us. After all, you killed her. What's Timey talking about? I think all of Tyria heard that dragon's cry. Is that what you think it was? A dragon? Oh, it would make so much sense to think that Scarlet was messing with the dragons. I believe that was her plan all along. Her drill caused one of them to stir. Yes, we heard it too. Which one do you think it was? Primordus? Krakatoric? Dormag? Do you think one is sleeping beneath Lion's Arch? No, I think Scarlet disturbed the ley lines, knowing that they feed the dragons. I don't understand. The dragons consume magic. The ley lines are currents in an ocean of magic. 
And Scarlet threw a giant rock in that pond, sending ripples out to the dragon. It makes sense, you're brilliant. I've been crafting this theory and assembling the pieces for a while now. Much as I loathe to even entertain the idea, I do believe you're right. And here we thought Scarlet was the worst of our problems. I'm not afraid of no dragon. Hey, Orange Pet, thank you. I'll have to take you to the brand sometime. No single warrior can stand alone against a dragon. Fortunately, we have each other. <laughs> <laughs> what? With you on our team, Squeak, how could we possibly lose? that bear in here <laughs> uh, 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 don't make me laugh hey that's my line we'd better feed that bear before it decides we're food and I requested a roast chicken from the kitchen we'll eat soon I'm gonna talk to everybody but I'm waiting to see if there's any more automatic stuff Belinda oh, Delacroix Lord, have you any idea how difficult you've been making my life Mother never shuts up about you. I told you never to call me that. <laughs> you told me lots of things, sis. Sis? Jory, is this your sister? Yes. <laughs> Come on in, Belinda. Say hello to my friends. It would be my pleasure. Oh, no. Hi, Marjorie's friends. You're the <clears throat> man that took out Scarlet. I'm honored I'm to meet behaving. you all. I'm <laughs> behaving. <sighs> Congratulations on killing Scarlet. That Silvari was trouble with a capital T. So how are you? You're looking a little skinny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, don't tell Mama that. Besides, look at you, getting fat in that cushy new serif post of yours. Oh, I don't think she's fat at all. Why, thank you. My sister's always been jealous of my voluptuous figure. She used to call me Big Belly. <laughs> Only because you called me Little Miss Margie. Like I was some snooty noble or something. Oh, you were snooty. Marjorie used to order me and all the other kids around. She's not fat. She would look she good in a youngest. sheath. What's this about Mama? Too Freddy? soon? Oh, you know how she gets. And when she heard you'd been in the fight against Scarlet, well... She sent you to check on me. I'm to report back this evening. I can't stay long, my dear. I'm just here to count your limbs and listen to your heart. So, how is your heart? Strong as ever. What do you think of Casimir? She's beautiful and charming, but isn't she from a noble family? She used to be. Her family lost its titles under tragic circumstances. She's one of us now. She works for me. I see. Well... In that case, I wish you and her every happiness. I can see that you care deeply for her. Yes, I do. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I heard you dealt the killing blow to Scarlet. You have my respect and gratitude. Margie's told me a lot about you. She really respects you, you know. I appreciate that you've got her back. She's always been such a loner. We have a good team. So you're a seraph, huh? That's right. I'm posted at Fort Salma, but in a week, they're sending me on a long expedition to the Brisbane Wildlands. I came home to see my mother before we leave. That's a lot of adventure for a seraph, isn't it? Yes, it is, but we're after a group of black market traders who've been disrupting the economy here in the city. Our reports say that that's where they're headquartered. Safe journey, then. Goodbye, everyone. It was so nice to meet you all. Until we meet again. <laughs> Did you get in trouble for roaming the camp? No. Yes. Zoja gave me extra calculations as a punishment, and I never got to see Scarlet. Sounds like Zoja cares about you. No, she doesn't. She cares about her record. If I do well, it reflects positively on her as my college mentor. So you don't like Zoja's college? I was not designed to be in synergetics. I was designed for statics. I don't know what that means. It means I'd rather make stuff than talk about making stuff. Oh, yeah. Me too. 
I like how they're sometimes on the same wavelength, but he needs nice her to, to translate. Have a sister. Is Zoja still a play? Oh no, this is in season one. Zoja's just alive and kicking. Zoja got um, comatose in Heart of Thorns, so that was after season two. Quite a reward. Uh huh. You want to hear about oh, the laser back. phaser I invented for my golem? I modeled it after Scarlet's tech. Uh huh. It works just fine, but I have to keep adjusting the gorometer. Uh huh. <laughs> I had to shave down the Minius array wheel in order to get it to fit on Scruffy, but I got it. Uh huh. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna make him a panmetric listening device so he can warn me in advance if someone's sneaking up on me. Uh huh. Hey, Bram. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I like you because you're big and dumb. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> you really believe that stuff about Scarlet poking the dragon? Yeah, I do. Well. You've got it right. Scarlet wanted to reach a dragon and she succeeded. Quite impressive when you stop to think about it. I have a theory about why, but what do you think? Why do our greatest minds ever do anything? In order to know, to learn, and to understand. I think she was more practical than she let on. Or more crazy. I'm gonna guess she was hoping to make a dragon or two mad so they would attack? Doesn't matter. All that matters is she's dead now. How's your leg? It's okay. Better. I'm ignoring it. My legend is in the bog and I can't believe I have to wait for this leg to get better. It's waiting, it's making me as crazy as Scarlet. Your legend isn't in the bog. Sure it is, I might as well be starting from scratch. I'll go down to history as the guy who couldn't hold his own in the fight against Scarlet. Not true, one fight doesn't make or break a legend. I mean, that kind of sounds like your own fault if you told all your people that you got to Scarlet and then broke your leg. I mean, you should have just been like, oh yeah, I was part of the squad that took down Scarlet. Like, that's how you phrase it. All right, rocks. I bet you're wondering why Frostbite and I are hiding out in a human bar in human city. Not especially. We were all invited. Well, since you asked, <laughs> Frostbite is afraid to report to Ritlock. Since we didn't actually help kill Scarlet, exactly, I've been ignoring his summons. I don't know if I'm ashamed or scared or... Why are you afraid? Surely he'll understand. It's a char thing. Technically, he could gut me for disobeying an order. Wh what? You mean court-martial, right? No, I mean it's within his rights to kill me on the spot for disobeying his direct order. And uh, besides, I don't think I want to join his warband. Not after everything that happened. Change of heart? I've met all of you now. If I join the Stone War Band, well, I'm afraid all of this would have to come to an end. I don't want that. You've helped me in so many ways. I... Rox, you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. I just never imagined that I'd be this happy. I found my own war band and all of you. You and Bram have helped me in so many ways. If Nonus could see me now... Nonus? Have you mentioned him before? My... My mate. Deep breath. He died during a cave-in. My... My entire war band died that day, actually. Rufinus, Skewer. Remember back in the mine how I said I was afraid of explosions? Oh, rocks. I'm so sorry. You actually did tell me this story. It's okay. It's been a long time. But standing here now, I'm okay. I will never not miss Nonus. I miss him with all of my being, but now I have all of you. I found my own warband. We love you, rocks. I love Frostbite. <laughs> this whole dragon thing has me a little sick to my stomach. Why can't they just go back to sleep? It's complicated. S say, are those your roses? Yes. Isn't Jory sweet? She got them for me because she's proud of how I stood up to Scarlet. As she should be. How are you after all of that? I... I still can't believe it was me. And you. You were amazing. We fielded everything she threw at us. It was like we were of one mind. It's funny because that fight was pretty epic. But when you break it down, it was Scarlet on the ground. Doing this with grenades. Like that, that's that, that. If you really break it down, that's what the fight was. But they made it look much cooler than that. I couldn't have done it without you. <clears throat> oh, sure you could have. All I did was distract her a bit. You're the one she was really afraid of. Feels good to overcome evil. I never thought, until I met Jory and you, that I'd be the kind of person who'd overcome evil. I've noticed something, though. My hiccups are gone. <laughs> You'll get them back when uh, the god you worship comes down and kicks our butts. You're braver than you think. 
I am Marjorie. I personally reported your victory over Scarlet to Logan Thackeray. He sends his regards. That was kind of you. It was purely selfish. For the first time in my life, I actually feel sincere when I brag about the people I fight beside. I never felt that in the Ministry Guard. Why did you quit the Guard anyway? That's a long story, perhaps for another day. I'll just say that I overstayed my welcome. Did they kick you out? No, I quit of my own accord. I guess I couldn't take the political games anymore. I'm a simple woman, right and wrong, truth and lies. I'm not a fan of gray. Their loss is our game. Uh, I told you so. I told you all. I knew Scarlet had grand plans, but did you listen? Nope. And now, there's at least one dragon, maybe more, who wanted to destroy all of Tyria. You also told us Scarlet was fascinating. I didn't lie. She was. Okay, maybe I misunderstood under just how dangerous she was, but that's a minor thing. I just wanted to see her lab and maybe be her apprentice for a while. She'd have killed you. I know that. That's why I didn't do it, silly. You were right about her grand plans, though. Barkeep. Barkeep. A glass of your finest milk. Oh, is that everything? Leave the area to plan your next... Scruffy! I love how Scruffy is at the entryway, like, Timey hung up her coat here. She's like, oh, let me just, like, hang up my Iron Man suit at the door. How long are you gonna let the beard grow? I have to go minimum two weeks, and then we'll decide if we want to keep it. Weeks later. Whoa, a fade to black in Guild Wars 2? What? Dawn of the next journey. Please join me in welcoming the Zephyrites back in Lion's Arch. The Lion's Arch reconstruction effort is in full swing, but even with help from our friends and neighbors across Tyria, it's slow going. Queen Jenna has offered her support, and our mercantile partners, the Zephyrites, are inbound to offer their support, renew their commitment to our shared trade agreement, and see Scarlet's devastation firsthand. I want to provide the Zephyrites with the most prestigious reception I can muster, so I'm calling on heroes like you to join me in welcoming them back. I consider it a great favor if you and any of your adventuring friends could join me in Lion's Arch to greet the Zephyrites. Thanks in advance. I look forward to your arrival. Morning. Oh, Whatever. new arrivals. <sighs> Dawn of the next journey. I didn't accidentally just start the next season, did I? Is this is this still season one? No, I'm still in lines. Okay, okay. Cat Melon Keel. Okay, so here's Busted Lion's Arch. On behalf of the Captain's Council and this worthy assembly, welcome Zephyrites. I'm sorry Lion's Arch is still a work in progress, but key services have been restored and the Lion Guard are patrolling. No need to apologize, Captain. We came to offer our support and to assure you our trade agreement remains intact. To start, we're donating a shipment of much-needed supplies, which we have staged here on the docks. We're also organizing a series of attractions, with a portion of the proceeds going to the Lion's Arch Relief Fund. That's very kind, sir, and much appreciated. We should withdraw to the Council Chambers to discuss details. But first, let me introduce you to some of the heroes who prevented the total destruction of our city. I present to you the team of Casimir Mead, Marjorie Delacroix, Bram Erson, Rox, and Tiny, I believe? That's right! And Tiny and Scruffy! Pleased to meet you, Mr. Important Zephyrite. I would love a <laughs> chance to inspect... Smile and wave, Tiny. Just smile and wave. Please? Along with their leader, <laughs> these Mr. Important people Zephyrite. have been the city's staunchest and most effective volunteer defenders. They brought down Scarlet Briar once and for all, and they did so at considerable cost to themselves. I am honored to meet you all. In the face of such barbarity, the cause of peace requires formidable defenders. I hope you all enjoy the diversions at Labyrinthine Cliffs. I understand there are also amusements in Divinity's Reach. I, Queen Jenna has generously Wait, is this how that festival started? Pavilion, and is also donating the proceeds to Lions Splendid. We have arranged for transport between the Morning. cliffs and the human have capital a great day. for whoever desires it. Change Can thinking. we just go straight to Divinity's Reach? <coughs> Scarlet pretty much ruined the Crown Pavilion for me last time. By all means, experience the attractions in any order you choose. Heroes at a festival definitely help draw a crowd. 
Hear, hear. The Council appreciates your participation and the positive impact it creates. Enjoy the festival. Well, our mission is to enjoy ourselves and to be seen doing... More accolades. I say we go. How's the leg? It's fine. And before you ask again, no, I don't want one of your good luck charms. You know one of mine won't work. It has to be personal. I wish you let me help you pick one out. Otherwise, you're gonna get injured again. Once misfortune finds you, it doesn't just go away. You have to counter it. Wolf's tail, is this what they mean by being mothered? <laughs> I'm suddenly glad mine was never around. Somebody's in a sour mood, but I know a cure for crankiness. Bashing things to benefit Lion's Arch. I like the Zephyrites, and oh I God. like seeing your face healed. I appreciate the concern, but please, enough with the fretting about my face. It was a lot more than a cosmetic injury, and you know it. I thought you were dead. Never scare me like that again. So, do I get to come along this time? Or are you going to sideline me in some camp again? Nobody sideline you. With all the miasma and aether blades and whatnot, we were trying to get people out, not bring them in. You should have known better. I followed Scarlet's progress for months. Did you really think I'd miss her big finish? Be glad you did. Some of us were there and still didn't get to see it through. That's because I wasn't there. Let that be a lesson to you. Never make a move without Tiny and Scruffy. Yeah, I'll think about that. Anyway, I'm off to the Divinity's There's a moment attractions. In see you around, kid. Season... Wow, gosh, where was it? It was in Heart of Thorns somewhere. Where Tiny Are or Scruffy saves Bran's life. Said I could go. Did he not? Do y'all remember? It was From like something heavy was falling and, she, and the robot caught it and saved him. Concerned. Jory, be nice. Of course you can go. Miss Delacroix is naturally suspicious. Pay her no mind. Oh, I won't. But Brown wants to go see Divinity's Reach and I'd rather see Zephyrite stuff. Can I go <coughs> with you? Where are your actual legal guardians? Didn't Progeny Protective Services assign someone to you? They know where I am, obviously. But let's just say I released myself on my own reconnaissance. I'm glad to be on the VIP guest list this time around. I may not have had a direct hand in killing Scarlet, but Scruffy and I did our share leading up to it. Are you still a fan of Scarlet? Hardly. I admired her ingenuity and her work was impressive, but she was way too haphazard in her methodologies. I'm working on a research paper about her, though. Want to hear what I have so far? Ready when you are. Ahem. First thing Scarlet did was combine Dredge and Flame Legion as the Molten Alliance. They leveled whole villages, took dozens of captives, and drove hundreds from their homes. Next, she, and her ether she had her Etherblade pirates assassinate a member of the Captain's Council during Dragon Bash. The idea was to create a vacancy so that she could fill with one of her minions. Then she hijacked the Queen's Jubilee in Divinity's Reach and turned the Watch Knights into her own mechanical shock troops. She also tried to kill the Queen, stripped a foolish nobleman down to his undies, and threw him in a big cauldron, freaking Lord Farron. She converted a Nightmare Court Arbor into an Etherblade ship factory, and then she got the crate to work with the Nightmare Court. The Toxic Alliance raised a huge plant tower in Kessex Hills to manufacture a debilitating hallucinogen. It made people's worst fears and memories come seem to come to life. Very nasty stuff. She unleashed the giant marionette, I was there for that part, and roused a three-headed jungle worm. That's when we realized she was looking for ley lines, specifically the ones under Lion's Arch. So she hit the, lion, the arch with everything she had. The city was almost destroyed and had to be evacuated, but a brave band of heroes was there to stop her. They didn't include me, even though I helped figure out the ley line stuff. Her attack roused something. Every Everybody heard that awful noise after Scarlet fell. We just don't know what made it. Which brings us to the present day. Scarlet's gone, but whatever she set in motion is still a threat. But as soon as we find that threat, we'll put a stop to it because this time Scruffy and I will be there. The end. Well, what do you think? It's still a work in progress, and I'd like to add some illustrations and schematics of Scarlet's greatest creations, but I think it's a good start. Mmm, you've done your homework, Tommy. Good job. I'm behaving. How are you feeling? Thank you for asking. My legs are good today, discomfort-wise, but I can't get complacent. My mobility is capricious, changing from one hour to the next. Luckily, Scruffy is always standing by. I'm wondering how you like being counted among the heroes Kale invited. I'm glad to be on the VIP guest list this time around. I may not have had a direct hand in killing Scarlet, but Scruffy and I did our share leading up to... Okay, we're looping now. All right. Marjorie. This is a little public for me, but it's for a good cause. It's nice to be out and about with Cass without us having to track down criminals and malcontents. What's next for Delacroix Investigations? You mean besides following up on the roar we heard after Scarlet fell? Healing up, spending time with Cass, and enjoying the festival? Don't worry, though. I'll be ready for action again soon enough. 